Hello! Is the myth about GIS screws tr true? And if you don't know what a GIS screw is, GIS stands for Japanese Industrial Standards, and they're only found on Japanese-made machines, let it be cars, motorcycles, whatever machines. And they are identified by that little dot there. They look like any other Philips, but they have a little dot there by the side. And to test it out, got a vessel screwdriver, JIS compatible one, and a regular Philips. So let's test it out. Okay. First up, try with the Philips. And doesn't fit very well. I mean, I'm sure it would turn it, but I'm pretty sure you would also round it out. It almost feels like it can't go in far enough. Insert, that's what she said joke. Okay, let's try with the vessel. And yeah, that locks in perfectly. Almost like it was made for it. Who would have thought? Okay, let's try uh, regular Phillips. This is from something. And I mean, yeah. Locks in. Regular Philips, locks in a Philip, who would have thought? Try that on a GIS compatible one. Locks in perfectly as well. Try, just try another one. This is also a Philips. Philips and a Philips. Locks in perfectly. Uh, sorry, what am I doing? This, this one, GIS, locks in a Philips again, and locks in perfectly. So yeah. With a GIS, you get the both of uh, you get the best of both worlds, but with a regular Philips, your Philips, you are limited to. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't do this on anything I'm working on. I don't know if the camera can pick this up, but it's literally only touching the yeah the very tip of it. Insert that's what she said joke. Yeah, that would definitely round this off if you apply too much talk to it. Okay, so it's settled. Use a JIS screwdriver and JIS screw. Thank you for watching.